It's almost a fun challenge to make something out of this credit card uh, mess that's going on in the US. What I understand from it is that uh, some time ago the laws were uh, much more, uh, much less strict and, uh, and the interest rates were low and there was no regulation so the banks tried to sell as much uh, credit cards as possible and hand them out to the people, just like flyers. You know, even though if you hadn't got an income they would give you a credit card because they would go back in their banks and put those credit cards together uh, with, the, with, the, with the interest on it, make a nice bundle out of it base derivatives on it and sell those derivatives in the speculative, uh, well, speculative system that we have seen. So that was a, like a happy time for people that had credit cards and everybody got used to the fact that they got credit. You know, if, you, uh, if, if everybody loans you money all the time, you're not going to save money. And by the way, the interest rate was so low that it didn't pay to save money. So that's how the government policies, of course, uh, through lobbying of the banks and the Bush administration, uh, basically destroyed the U.S. Uh, savings and made every U.S. citizen, almost every U.S. US citizen, a debtor. And that was just a matter of policy. Now, of course, this bubble burst, uh, first in another way, in the mortgage, uh, mortgage uh, area, uh, but it's the same story. And all these banks, they turn out to uh, have given loans, mortgage loans, to people that shouldn't have them. And now they are turned out to have given credit cards to people that shouldn't have them. You know, if you give, uh, let's say, uh, a junkie a $50,000 credit card, he might just buy lots of cocaine with it and start distributing it in the street. You know, you can make a profit out of it. And then he'll disappear. You know, that's the end of it. That's, that's why you have credit rating, true credit rating agencies, and it is hard to get a credit card, uh, usually. But of course they didn't do that. And so they all went bankrupt, or even went insolvent, but the government tried to hide that. So, they, uh, so the banks and the government and the treasury and uh, Hank Paulson, uh, you know, thought about these uh, bailouts. And the bailouts got passed. And the banks got bailed out. I don't want to bore you, but uh, that means that you are paying, or will pay taxes uh, for these banks that are still in existence, thanks to you. Uh, but these same banks are now trying to loot you if you have a credit card in all kinds of different ways. It's just, it's just disgusting to me. It's like high interest rates, okay, you know, 15% is already not, not good. 25, 27% becomes abusive. But trying to, for instance, get money from relatives of somebody that died that had a credit card. Even though those relatives don't have to pay that debt, they usually do because they feel sympathy in the whole situation they're in. They're grieving. Uh, you know they're 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 not uh, they're not uh, their normal selves. Uh, so and they do that. That's abusive. It's, uh, uh, just changing the uh, changing the interest rates uh, just like that without announcement, reducing the limits. Uh, all just there's a whole list of them. I can name them all. I don't know them by heart, but it's it's surprising that that's even happening. So there's a law. Federal uh, Reserve proposed a law to do something about it. And when I first heard about it, it was some time ago, I was thinking, okay, good, and there was a talk about it in Congress, I even saw it on, uh, on C-SPAN. And then, uh, but I was surprised then that it said, okay, it's going to be enacted in 2010. I was wondering, why 2010? If it's abuse, why don't you stop it immediately? And even if it's not a law yet, then a company can still adopt a law. You know, you can still change your behavior. You can still say, okay, you know, that law is going to be signed and going to be enacted in uh, 2010, but we'll start already. But the companies, of course, they didn't. And now I even hear that this law that would be in, in, in power 2010 might be blocked by a bunch of Republicans trying to filibuster it. <laughs> you know, if you're asking for a riot in the US, I can imagine exactly what happens to the Republicans that prevent these, uh, the, this law to stop the abuses of the credit card companies from uh, from from becoming uh, becoming true law, you know that's just this. It's amazing how people can keep calm. How the U.S. people remain calm under these circumstances? It's it's just ridiculous, utterly ridiculous. And if I was one of those Republicans, I'd be hiding, you know. And if you know their names, send them an email, you know, get some sense, and pass these laws.